All right, we're back. Fifth annual symposium. And I am happy to share with you guys another table, some awesome stuff on display out here. You guys have come out again to support what we've done. This isn't your first time out here, and I appreciate that. They're back again to actually support education for the trades and what we're doing, which I really appreciate. So uh, tell me, what do you have? What do you do? Why are you here? So I'm Mallory, and this is Jim. Hi. Hi, Jim. Jim from Sporland. We are right. here. We're from Sporland. And today we got Zoomlock Push and Zoomlock Max with us. Okay. So both of these are going to be, be braze free solutions for you out in the field, approved for today's refrigerants and the high pressures that we see in our industry. So braze free has been around for a while in the plumbing world, Pro Press, Shark Bite, but now we're bringing it to the HVAC world. Okay. So here we got Zoomlock Max. It's our press to connect fitting. You're going to use a tool and just have jaws to crimp the fitting onto the pipe. Okay. This uh, tool itself, the jaws are going to crimp once before, on, and after the O-ring. So that's a three-point press, ensuring a leak-free seal every time. Those are the fittings themselves. You can okay, see that O-ring inside. And there's a tube stop in there as well. So when you go to slide your tube on, it'll stop itself. But we also have a depth gauge, which we'll show in a second about how that works. Okay. So that's Zoomlock Max. And then Zoomlock Push, we'll touch on while we're here. Zoomlock Push is our push to connect fitting. No way. Yep. Crazy, right? Very right. similar to Shark Bite over okay. in plumbing, right? Mm -hmm. So same sort of concept. Installation is the same for the two. Obviously, you're pressing this and pushing that, but cleaning up the pipe is going to yeah. be the same. So we'll go through that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, Zoom Lock Push, pretty crazy. PSI rating on Zoom Lock Push, 870 PSI working pressure. Wow. That's pretty Go awesome. Trigger. Okay. Yeah. So Zoom. then, uh, like... How is it as far as like long-term durability? Have you ha been able to test it for long-term, see how it holds up? Yeah, so generally we say for all of the Zoomlock fittings, you know, it's pretty much the lifespan of your system. Mm -hmm. We don't anticipate that you'll have any issues once you do an install. We're so confident in the product. Zoomlock Max has a warranty of 15 years and Zoomlock Push has a five to 10 year warranty. So nice. we don't anticipate a lot of issues as long as it's installed correctly. Okay, all right, so uh, show us how to install correctly. Awesome. Jim, you got a pipe for us here I today? do. Look at there. Excellent. <laughs> Piece of tubing. Thank You're you. so helpful. Thank oh my you gosh. so much. I appreciate they that. Should start, they should her. start paying you. Yeah, Thank they you. <laughs> I'm doing it for free. Yeah. So first things first, we got our pipe. What we want to do is we want to make sure we're cleaning up the pipe really well. The one thing about breeze-free fittings is it's all about that o-ring inside that's what's given us our leak free seal so if we have any sort of burrs on our fitting that's gonna or on our pipe that's gonna slice through our o-ring yeah. and totally compromise that seal for us makes sense so cleaning it up is really important this is a pre-cut pipe if i had just cut it i would want to make sure i'm going to ream the inside and the mm -hmm. outside get rid of the burrs clean it up with scotch bright then we're going to take our depth gauge i was talking about earlier you want to mark it for us, Jim? Why not? I can't imagine not doing that for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So look at that. I guess so we I just we marked. Yeah, I just kind of got crazy. Just keep going. Just thank keep you. Going. Thank yeah, you. We yeah. got that. Yeah, I draw a mustache on you. No, right? thank you. I appreciate that. Um, and then, simple as that, once we've done the prep work, we've made sure we don't see any fine lines. Any sort of lines go in parallel with your pipe, that's where you're going to have leaks, right? So that's what we're looking for. All right, and then all you do is you just push it on, and then we will crimp it. So we can see it went up to that line. So does it Jim stop drew. itself? At, it when does you, okay. stop itself. So the, the marking is to make sure you get far enough. It's right. not to stop you from going too far. Exactly. Yeah. So okay. you don't have to worry about going too far. It'll just reassure you that it's in the right place. That makes sense. And then we're going to take it in our tool here. I'm going to open the jaws. Now this crimps right on the O-ring. That's so a scary tool. It is. A little intimidating, right? Yeah, why? But uh, it crimps right on the O-ring. So very similar to ProPress if you've been working with that before. So no confusion there. All right, so then you just hold the trigger and it'll give out on its own. And just like that, we have yeah. a braze-free, leak-free seal. Don't put anything in there, you don't Okay, that's the cringe. triple. So the, these yep. two sides and on the middle. And on the middle part. Okay, wow. Three, three presses on there. Okay, nice. Yep. And then, uh, Push lock's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Yep. You just have to clean it up and... Clean it up and push it on. Okay. Just don't put anything in here that you ever want to get back out. Right. Good point. That's our rule of thumb. Yeah. That makes sense. So we have two different styles of push. We have Do a Do you have to mark 
the same, like the depth, just we to make sure? We do have the depth gauge as well. Okay. Yeah. Zoom lock push also has a stop in there as well. Okay, so you'll feel it when you you'll hit that spot. You'll feel when you stop, yeah. okay. but it's gonna reassure you that it's all yeah. in place. Yeah, I just know like 90% of techs uh, are gonna mark it three times and then after that, push it until they feel it stop. They're right. gonna know where it is. Exactly. Good. But yep. when you're learning the tool, yeah, exactly. you wanna be able to mark it and know you got it right. For sure. So zoom lock push, we have two different styles. We have our optimized, which is gonna be our non-removable style. And then we have a removable style. Okay. So the removable style is great for times where, you know, you might wanna service it. You don't wanna cut your line every time. Okay. We have a set of keys that you can use to remove it. So on our removable styles, you'll see that there's like a little plastic bit that sticks up there. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. And so the key like will push into that inside. and it'll release oh, that. no way. Yeah, so that's how that one works. And this also is not gonna leak. And it's also rated up to 870 PSI. Wow. Yeah, pretty wild. That's crazy. So that one in your hand has a flare on the other side, so really great for mini split applications. And then our non-removable style is gonna be the one that doesn't have a plastic lip, and this one you'd have to cut out of the okay. system. So different options. So uh, what are some of the uh, skeptics that come across the table here at this uh, the symposium saying? Anybody asking questions? Oh yeah, we get yeah. lots of questions. Most, Mostly. Like the first thought that comes to my mind is how? vibration. Yep. But if your unit's running over time, like, is this gonna vibrate loose? If I have a unit that's a little bit, mm -hmm. maybe it wasn't secured to the pad as well as the next unit, fair yeah so we've done extensive uh, vibration testing on all of the fittings themselves so we do not consider vibration to be any sort of issue for these okay. fittings um, the biggest question we get is how is this gonna how does this really hold 870 psi right. Right. Um, and it's a big jump to go from brazing to then thinking you can just push on a fitting it's right. a big jump in your mind yeah it is it is but it feels a little too good to be true right exactly yeah. <laughs> but we've done a lot of testing on it so we're here to say it is okay it is that good that's so. awesome we built a fixture in the lab here a while back and it had all put together with these zoom lock fittings and we're running it for over six months with uh 410a and over, yeah. over fridge yeah we forgot to break we forgot to crimp one of the fittings and it's still and it didn't leak. <laughs> wow. Now That's it was awesome. kind of pinned together with the way we had the tubing configured. Pressure wise, yeah. We noticed something wasn't quite right. We had, you know, line was starting to bend a little bit. Yeah. And that's because it was starting to slip off the end. But it wasn't crimped at all. Yeah. So it was just the O ring holding it. Wow. And it was seeing pressures up to 600, 650 psi. Yeah. But we do recommend That's crimping. amazing. Crimping is a <laughs> We good do idea. recommend crimping. Yeah, I'm not suggesting that you don't. <laughs> yeah. I hear you. Yeah, just saying. Awesome. Cool. Well, well the, the other thing that comes up when we do test this configuration, mm -hmm. uh, when we take it to failure, the fitting doesn't break, the O-ring doesn't give away, but the tubing will burst. Mm -hmm. Like, well, depending on the size, like yep. something like this, it might be 3,000 psi sure. before it fails, but it won't be the fitting, it won't be the O-ring, yeah. it will be the tubing. Yeah. Almost every time. Yeah. And there is a, there is a lot of issues going on with cheap copper right now people buying cheap copper and having leaks and stuff like that so yeah i get that how's it going so far as far as people stopping in and and uh how, how are you guys enjoying the symposium it's been a great day well, like i said i don't have anything else to do so okay. be here. <laughs> nice. Yep, nice weather we're outside you guys yeah. do a great job putting this on had lots of uh, customers for the gloves early this morning it was a little nippy uh -huh. it was a little cold so today we gave away yeah. those and we have a lot of interest in this because you know, quite frankly, there's a lot of techs that either don't want to braze, don't know how to braze, or it's inconvenient to braze, uh -huh. or there's concern over fire hazard. Sure. Uh, and so this is something, if I was a tech back out in the field, I'd want it in my toolbox. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. I like that. Well, I appreciate you guys coming here and supporting what we do, and best of luck. Great. Thanks. Thank yeah. you so much for having us. Sure thing. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, hvacrschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community, Vortex by Tex.